The good news is that the victim's injuries are non-life threatening. I spoke with Sergeant Green, LPD's public information officer, and she was there when they responded to the shooting, which they believe was at the 3200 block of Louisiana Avenue. Green said one of the victims was driving at the time of the shooting and ended up turning into a nearby grocery store parking lot for help. Those working at the store tell me they did not want to go on camera, but they say their store was not involved in the incident, just a parking lot the victims pulled up in at random. Our detectives are actively working this incident, and we believe that it is an isolated incident. And as we get more information, we will be sure to update you guys. I spoke with some people who live and work in the area, and they tell me the amount of violent crimes they see is concerning. Brittany Guy has lived in Lafayette her whole life, and she feels no differently. We're all struggling, we're all trying to figure out things, and I know a lot of people have issues with when it comes to um, how they feel and just, you know, different stuff that's going on. And as a parent um, in the community, I know that there's better avenues that we can look to that's not shooting, you know, like maybe counseling. LPD encourages everyone to stay vigilant and remember they're here to help. Always be aware of your surroundings, especially with the holiday season. That's one of the main things that we like to stress is that be aware of your surroundings. Always keep your cell phones charged. You never know you might come across something, a crime or something, or be involved in something where you need Lafayette City Police Department to respond. The investigation is ongoing and LPD is urging those with any information to reach out to them directly or to Crime Stoppers at 232 Tips in Lafayette, Taylor Tool.